Hey Cancer, this is Mystic Virgo. Mystic Virgo. I gotta get used to saying Nikki Virgo 111. Okay. Thank you all for joining me for your weekly reading. I hope it resonates you all. I just wanted to thank you all for uh, being supportive of my channel for the new new subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Just want to get started. Okay. Take what you need and leave the rest. This is a timeless reading. <clears throat> First card out of the deck is the happiest card, the Sun card. Got something to be very, very happy about. Very, whatever. Feel very, very proud about or something. Okay? The Ace of Wands. Y'all got some good stuff. Something to make you very happy. You're finally coming out of what's been holding you back. Tied down to something. Not wanting to move forward. But you're finally making those steps. And making the right decision to move. Maybe you want to move into a new home. Congratulations. You got approved for a loan. It probably, it probably, uh, tower card though. Yeah, it probably took you a while to get to where you are, but you're all, you're happy. You're, you're happy. You're going to be happy with the outcome. Okay. The page of swords, the hair often, did you get married? Somebody's engaged or, or, um, something about a relationship too that, that, that's, I'm stuttering. That's making you happy. When I stutter, that means I'm getting a download. I'm sorry about that. But yeah. So it took you a while to get to this point. You've struggled a lot. Maybe traveled a lot. You haven't settled down. Now it's the perfect time for you to settle down. I have this Ace of Wands. But it, it, it means uh, intimacy and, and sex. But it's, it, it something happened. Um, maybe sexually. Or maybe the relationship blew up. Or maybe you met somebody who is, is good to you, you know, in the bedroom. Something surrounding intimacy. Uh, you're afraid to step forward with this person because you were afraid to get hurt. But this person blew you away in a good way. You know, you were able to be happy with this person, set a good home, set a good example for this person. But did you find out this person was married to somebody else after y'all got a house together? Something fishy. Okay. Have some strength, okay? Um, clarify the Ace of Wands. Why does this Ace of Wands worry me for the Cancer? Why is this Ace of Wands worrying me for the Cancer here? <laughs> Three of cups. Three of, of, of uh, Pentacles. Did this person, Cancer, who you were with, you were happy with this person at first. Did they cheat on you with somebody at work? Actually, they had two homes, okay? At home with you, but got a home with someone else. And you found out about it through some kind of email. You found out, or maybe you found a marriage license and they left you standing out in the cold because you found out that they had someone somewhere else. And, and they're like, damn, I messed up. They're saying that they messed up because they really love you, okay? They, it was two people, you know? Um... Or maybe you knew that they were married and you all were together anyway. And you thought that they were going to leave their, their wife or significant other or husband, but they didn't. And you found out about this. The tower blew up in your face. You found out that they were still communicating with their ex. Or you found out that they were still living with somebody who you who they told you were their ex. And you miss this person. You love this person. It's over with. Something fishy going on like around here. Cancer. They're trying to think of different ways, or they tried to think of different ways to explain their their situation to you. They probably said, "Well, I need to I need to take a break from this relationship for a while so I can get my head back into the game and I can figure out what to do." Some of you probably knew that they had another relationship, and they told you that that they were going to end the relationship, but they didn't, and they lied. And they told you that we're going to work things out or whatever. Eventually, they're wanting to offer you something more. But despite that, they they gave very, they gave you even little than they did before because they weren't planning on leaving their significant other to begin with. They were just saying that to placate you. They weren't leaving. They told you that they were leaving, but they didn't. And now you stuck. Like I care about you. You lied to me. They they were said that yeah I'm going to end this relationship, but they still love the person they're with, so they held they held on to that secret. And they're still telling you that they love you. I'm coming to tell you that I love you. I want to work things out. 
but I don't think you're willing to accept their explanation because you don't trust them and you don't believe what they say. There's something fishy going on here. You are happy, very happy. Okay, but when I'm looking at this, I'm, I'm not looking at just the staff. I'm not looking at just the sexual aspect of it. There, there. If you see that, there's a hole here. Okay, right there, there's a hole. You see that hole? Something's not right here. Something's not right. Something's missing. Something's not right. It's not all. It's, it's not as cracked up as you think it is. There's something missing. Why is there a hole here? What's missing? Okay. It's, it's ruining the it's ruining the connection it has ruined or will ruin this connection because somebody told a lie some of you knew that this person was married some of you didn't okay messages for the cancer about their person message for the cancer about their person it's, it's, it's ten of cups i'm sorry ten of wands it's a burden for not only you but them because they don't think that they can they don't they don't think that they can ever get back to you the way it used to be because they lied to you nine of pentacles and they, they definitely want to come back because they know that you're full of wisdom and they, they like the fact that you are well grounded and beautiful and amazing the six of pentacles but it's it's it, it, they're not being fair to you their spouse or themselves and they realize this. This is this is this is just an unfair situation. The nine of wands, but they they have hell of feelings for you. Yes, they have feelings for you that are so strong it's a burden. Okay, yeah, feelings for you that are so strong it's a burden. It's killing this person, or it's killing you, that you all aren't in each other's lives. But you got a liar. You can't. I mean, adultery. That's that's you know. Yeah, I mean, some of you knew that they were married, some of you didn't. And then when you found out that they were married, you did the right thing, you left them, but that still doesn't fill that void in your heart. And look, hold on. That's what that is, okay? <sighs> Filling the void, okay? That's what that is. Filling the void. So this is what this is here. This hole I was telling you about there, you see that hole? That's like that void. They want to fill that void. You are the void in this person's life, and they're missing you. They want to give you their all. They want to give you everything. Now they want to leave the relationship, the marriage, the higher form of a commitment behind to come back to you, but they want to come back to you the right way. They're wanting to fill that void, and they're very, very hurt and lonely right now and in a lot of pain. And feelings, they have feelings for you, strong emotional feelings for you. And they want to come out. And they want to come out. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. They want to tell you how they feel about you. You probably already know. It was just an inconvenient time for you two to be with each other. Because somebody was taken, okay? And like I said, you're being unfair to each other, being unfair to the spouse. It's just an unfair situation, a complicated situation. This, the king of wands, he's really, really thinking longing to be with you wanting to fill this void how can i fill this void the ace of wands how can i fill this void how can i i, I bring this part how can i be sure when a world that's constantly changing they want to be sure how can they be sure that you will love them or that they can love you 100 percent? they got it they're wanting to fill the void they're trying to figure out how they can come back to you the right way because they want to because you're pure amazing you are very very gifted they see your strength. You are a part of this person. You are the void that they're missing in their life. And they're, and they're loving you. They're loving you. Okay? The Ace of Cups. Amazing. Everything they want you have to offer, you help this person in ways that nobody else ever could. Not even their spouse or their significant other. It's like your, your wisdom that you have you train this person how to be a better man or how to be a better woman. You show this person how to grow, how to take care of themselves. You probably showed this person how to balance their checkbook because they didn't know how. You show this person how to live like an adult, okay? They miss this. They miss you. Uh, it's just an unfair situation because you all fell in love at the wrong time with the wrong person, okay? Love. But you have a pathway here. 
They're wanting to come and, and, and fill this void. And the void is here with you. Very emotional. Your void. You are their void. Okay? And it's just, it's, it's an unforeseen circumstances right here. Somebody was already taken when you fell in love with them. Okay? Okay, Cancer. I have here the Emperor. He's coming back for justice. He's coming back. To, he's letting you know, or she, I'm ending my marriage. I'm ending my long-term relationship because I, the void I feel in my life is you. And I want to come and fill that void with your love. Because you are the princess of cups. They know that you have heart for them. They know that you have love for them. And they want to come and reclaim their ace of pinnacles. They're coming back to fill their void with you. They're coming back to fill their void with you. And to start anew with you. That's it. I mean... It was a beautiful reading, even though it's, it was complicated because of the love that's going on, uh, the third party situation that's going on. It's, it's a beautiful love, a love affair, a beautiful love affair, because that's what it was. Sneaky. And this person, look, like I said, some of you knew that this person was hooked up with somebody else. Some of you didn't. But either way, this person was be, was being very, very dishonest about it. Okay. And now he want, or she wants to come back to where their heart really is. But you may cut them out. You may not accept their apology. You may not take them back, but they know they want you. And they love you and they care about you. And they want to come in and fill that void. Because they have a darkness inside of them because you aren't in their life anymore. They're dark inside because you aren't in their life anymore. Okay? I hope this resonates with you all. Because look, this is what they want. Dark crying in despair, but they know that you are their ace of cups. Said that earlier. Okay? Alright, y'all. Uh, Cancer, I'll see y'all again in another reading.